Typhoon in a thimble. That well describes the miniature internal combustion engine that powers today's flying model airplanes. For contrast, these piston transport engines are turning up close to 3,000 RPM. They were manufactured to tolerances in the thousands of an inch. The engine powering this truck turns much slower, and being a diesel, its cylinders fire without spark plugs or an ignition system. This is also an internal combustion engine, but it turns up close to 20,000 RPM in flight, has no spark plug, and is manufactured to fantastic tolerances measured in millions of an inch. Let's look inside. The piston has delivered its power and is at the bottom of the stroke. At this position, grooves machined inside the cylinder wall are exposed, and through these grooves, the fresh mixture squirts up into the cylinder for the next compression stroke and firing. As the piston moves up, compressing the fresh charge, a partial vacuum is formed in the crankcase, sucking fresh air through this filter mesh. Through the venturi is mixed with raw fuel, entering through tiny jets here. Correctly metered by this needle valve, and on into the crankcase past this reed valve. At the top of the stroke, the almost incandescent glow element in the head fires the mixture. And as the piston comes down on the power stroke, the reed valve is closed and the fresh mixture previously drawn into the crankcase compressed, ready for the next cycle. Nearing the bottom of its power stroke, the exhaust ports are exposed and the burned gases expelled. And once again, the cycle repeats with the fresh fuel mixture squirting into the cylinder. Now, watch it run. And remember, this cycle repeats more than 300 times a second in some of these wonderful little typhoons in a thimble.